Are you concerned about your financial well-being? Do you or a loved one have retirement investments? Are you concerned about the economy, where it's heading and how you might be affected? It's currently September 2007. We're hearing a lot about a credit crisis that began the mortgage industry in the United States. Inventories of unsold homes are at record highs and so are foreclosures and it's clear that the bubble has finally burst in the housing market. Hi, I'm Craig Brocky from CraigBrocky.com, sharing the secrets to being happy, healthy and wealthy. Today I'm going to introduce you to a book that I believe you and your loved ones should all read immediately to protect your financial interests and overall financial well-being. First I'd like to say that I'm a very optimistic person and this information is intended not to scare you but to empower you and to make the best of a challenging situation. This book is called Conquer the Crash by best-selling author Robert Prechter. Prechter has written over 10 financial books and is considered one of the most accurate forecasters of investment markets. In fact, in the early 1980s, when the consensus among economists and the media was one of doom and gloom, Prechter predicted a repeat of the roaring 20s in the stock market. He was right and they were wrong. This book is about how to survive and prosper in a deflationary depression. The words deflation and depression are not commonly heard these days. In fact, the mainstream media and economists speak more of inflation and they don't even mention the word recession until we're so far into a recession that it's obvious to everyone. In fact, most economists ridicule the idea of deflation and believe that the financial system has become so sophisticated that an economic depression is now impossible. In the first half of the book, Prechter teaches us in layman's terms why deflation and a depression are not only possible, but very likely at this time. Depressions are very uncommon compared to recessions and only occur every 50 to 70 years. We haven't experienced one since the 1930s. While recessions hurt a lot of people, depressions ruin almost everyone. So in the second half of the book, Prechter tells us how to not only survive, but actually benefit from the crisis. I can't recommend this book more highly and urge you to read it right away as this scenario appears to be unfolding very quickly and will catch most people unprepared. Prechter has generously extended an exclusive offer to viewers of this video. Visit this webpage for more information. Another investment expert I'd like to make you aware of is Jim Shepard. Shepard has developed a financial forecasting model that's been extremely accurate over the past 20 years. As a result, his newsletter subscribers have achieved results that are triple that of the Dow Jones, S&P, and NASDAQ indexes. In addition, Shepard successfully predicted the stock market crash of 1987, and during this period, he and his clients' profits were as much as 130 times. Not 130%, 130 times, as in $1,000 becomes $130,000. The reason I mention this to you is because Shepard is anticipating another stock market crash that will present an opportunity to profit that is equal or greater to the stock market crash of 1987. And like Prechter, Shepard too is expecting deflation. For more information, please visit this webpage. It appears that an economic crisis is imminent and that deflation is not only probable but has already begun with the housing market leading the way. However, not all depressions are deflationary. Some are inflationary. And the best argument that I've read for an inflationary crisis comes from best-selling author Doug Casey. I've been following Casey's International Speculator newsletter for several years now. Casey accurately predicted the rise of gold, silver, uranium, oil, and other commodities over the past few years. In fact, Casey commonly introduces his readers to investments that yield returns of 100% or more per year. For a balanced perspective, I highly recommend reading Casey's work online and subscribing to his newsletter. Visit this webpage for more information.